I can't, I can't see anything else I'd rather be doing today, oh my god, other than being covered in glitter. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So really quickly, if you're wondering, Paige, are you yelling? Are you, in fact, screaming down a football field right now at the camera? Well, <laughs> yes, I am. Because, guys, I'm, I'm having so many problems right now. Like, it's dark outside for whatever reason. It's the middle of the day. It was beautiful 10 minutes ago. And now I'm halfway through filming and <laughs> I'm just having all kinds of situations. So let's go ahead really quickly. We're going to run through the basics and then I can zoom the camera in and <laughs> everything will be back to normal. So why are we here? If you didn't already see it in the thumbnail, you might be asking yourself, Paige, what the hell are you going to be talking about today? What is going to be flying out your big ass mouth? And for that, guys, I am so excited. Nabla Cosmetics came out with their new Miami Lights collection. This is one of those launches for me that from the minute I saw it, I was just like, Ugh! like, give me all the shiny things. Give me, give me everything sparkly. All right. So I'm scooching myself forward because I'm just, I'm really sick of projecting across a damn stadium, but I want to throw it out there really quickly. Of course, if you guys are new here, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Andrea, and if you have not yet subscribed, guys, what are you waiting for? Why, why are you doing a girl so dirty? Okay, why won't you just do it? Just subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Um, I typically put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time. Um, and I'm a Northern Michigan, Midwestern kind of lady. So it's, it's bright, it's early. If you like to have something to watch in the morning, I'm your girl. Like I said, stick around and subscribe. And then the second thing, okay, the second thing we need to talk about, which is arguably one of the most important things you will hear in this video, I need just look at me look just look me in the eyes okay I need you to follow me on Instagram Instagram and Twitter they will both be linked down below but I really need you to follow me on Instagram because guys I and I've and I've talked about this at length several times and, and I'm just I'm not gonna stop because I love Instagram I love it over there that's where I hang out with you guys and lately I have been an extra level of happy and an extra level of creative and I'm just so proud of so much that I've been putting over there there's plus size try on hauls I've been doing a lot of IGTV videos and I actually just did two back to back that you guys really really loved that showcased um, a bunch of stuff from Fabletics not only is the content good and like it's awesome to have people that are there like yeah that, that's cool and everything but it's just so fun to be able to connect with you guys in a different way truthfully I would like to say like oh I'm done I'm not gonna say it again but we all know I will okay I will say it at the beginning of every video until you decide that you love me and you don't want to be hurtful and you just want to come over and be my friend and follow me on Instagram okay so we're good we're zoomed in and before we get into the Nabla stuff Stuff, I do want to mention what else is on my face and kind of where we're coming from. So for those of you that missed it, I'm assuming the video will already be up, but I did do, or I'm doing right now, a video wear test, first impression, on the new tinted moisturizer from Cover FX. This is their Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. And in this video, I also talk about, and I don't know where it is, this little guy right here, um, about their new custom application brush, which has the three wells in it. So this video right here will be available. Again, I will link it up here. So as far as complexion goes, we have the, again, the new stuff from Cover FX, and we have just some basic setting powder over top, so that way nothing would be tacky, which is the Fenty um, Loose Powder, and then a little bit of my Too Faced Powder, again, just to make sure everything was settled down, and I'm actually really excited because all of that is in that video, and in this video, we're getting to start off with the complexion, and when I tell you, like, normally, I'm a gloss bitch, okay? Like, I'm like, give me the gloss, give me the shiny, the sparkly, but out of this collection, I, hands down, hands down, the things that intrigue me and look the most beautiful are these damn skin glazy bricks of beautiful. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say <laughs> that these make me so happy. Um, so as I said before, I do have the highlight, which we won't be getting to her for a minute. So we're gonna, we're gonna set you down and cry a little bit because I just want to play with it so bad. Um, but first up, we're gonna start off with these. So let's start off with the bronzer. Um, this is their Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder. I have it in the shade Ombra. Abra, Ambra, Abra Cadabra. Wow, Paige, <laughs> good job. Um, but I, I want to say it's Ambra or Ambra. It's A M B R A. And I believe out of the shades, this was the lightest, but it did come out in four shades. Oh my God, it looks like butter. Can you guys see that? Um, according to the Ulta website, these were released in three different shades and they are $24 a piece. And I just really want you guys to get a good look at the pan because, like, Oh, oh my god, these look so satisfying. They have like this almost like a filtered effect while they're sitting in the pan. Like it's just, it's so beautifully pressed. Now to go in first with this, I'm grabbing my Morphe JH02 brush here and I'm uh, getting the end of it pretty liberally coated here. And I'm just gonna start off by lightly kind of veiling it 
into the hollows of my cheeks, like right in here. But because this is more of a fluffy brush, I'm taking it a little bit higher and kind of um, like circling it around so that way it doesn't dip too low on my cheekbone. In terms of the description on the Ulta website, it says that the Nabla Skin Bronzing Powders have zero thickness and enhance your skin with supernatural sun-kissed effect. The adherent and absolutely imperceptible formula gives your skin a radiant and bronzed look. So here's the deal. If you guys are like newer here, you might not know this about me, so I'm just gonna give it to you straight. I test bronzers <laughs> like it's my damn job. And I'm not talking like, oh, I'm doing a review on this brand, let me pick up a bronzer. <laughs> no, I'm talking like I look at all bronzers, expensive, super cheap, everything in between, because I love like learning about formulas and powder formulas. I think the best way that I could describe it, which by the way, there, there's a swatch if you wanted to see one. Um, I think the best way that I could describe this and why I like it so much is it's a mixture of the the mill and the the shade of it. Like it's it's so perfect, and the pigmentation density is so perfect because as you're building it up on your skin, it's not one of those bronzers and we've all had them like, <laughs> let's, let's not try to pretend like we haven't, okay? We've all experienced those bronzers where you dip in and you're like, oh, I need a little bit more. So then you go in just like one more poop and that extra little poop, when you put it to your face, bam, okay, it's not, it's no longer a poop. It's a big old shit and it just, <laughs> well, that analogy just went <laughs> one step too far. No, didn't it? But you get my point, okay? I think, well, I hope you get my point. Um, It's not one of those bronzers where when you dunk in for that second go around that you just get like flooded with pain because it just it doesn't flood you in any unflattering way like it looks beautiful it looks sun-kissed and you know what I think how I'm gonna put this like if, if I have to summarize my thoughts anybody that is not new here you know and if you are new here hello my name is Paige and I am obsessed with Hourglass okay I love Hourglass I think when it comes down to their powder products their ambient lighting any of those they are absolutely perfect they're beautiful they're stunning chef's kiss all around okay and this is one of the first times that I've tried a product that is not hourglass that reminds me so so much of it that I like I'm, I'm, I'm actually stunned like I don't miss my hourglass bronzer because I truly feel like th this is like just as good like that's the level I'm getting again first impression haven't worn it obviously for anything longer than right now but as far as the formula goes and if all of these follow suit that is the vibe that I'm getting from this is like, <laughs> hello, I think we found Hourglass's little sister and she's a lot more affordable <laughs> than the big bitch herself. So, so far, I know that was a lot of detail for one bronzer, but again, I think they're all going to probably be like the same type of um, formula in terms of powder. So I just wanted to put all the info out there and uh, now, now, now we can move on. Oh my God, you guys, these are gorgeous. <gasps> Do you see these? Hold on. Let me just like hold them obnoxiously close to the camera. These are the two new skin glazy whatevers. This one right here, skin glaze, I'm sorry, skin glazing. Um, this one right here is the shade Lola. And this one over here, the more mauve shade, this is um, an Independence. And oh, oh my God, those are so, oh my God. Those are so beautiful. Like, I don't even want to use the pans. Are those, am I, the, okay, like, am I seriously the only person that's just obsessed with beautiful packaging and beautiful press and embossing in the pans? And like, even the, even the aspects of makeup that go away, like, as soon as you use it, it starts to fade. And I just don't care because it looks so, appealing. Oh my god. Also, just in case anybody's curious, it looks like, oh shit, <laughs> well, it looks like this Independence, which is this one. Um, Independence is sold out. Lola is available on the Ulta website, but Independence, which is, of course, the more, <laughs> the more me tone, um, this one is currently sold out, um, but these all retail, all of their face products, whether it's these two, the bronzer, or the highlight, they are all $24 across the board. All right, so these are the two shades swatched. We have Independence over there, which is more of like the mauve pink and then this one right here is Lola which kind of threw me off because Lola in pan it looks more of like a Barbie hot kind of pink shade but then when you swatch it you actually get more of like a coral kind of flash underneath and it's just really really beautiful that's stunning in terms of application I'm gonna do I think we'll start off first with um, the shade Independence and to apply that I think I'm gonna do one on each cheek and then kind of blend them together just so hopefully you know at some point I can make my damn face match and I don't look like two face all day but uh, we're gonna start off with Independence and we're going to take that on the Refer 05 which is a little bit more fluffy and then we're just going to get that going circular motions get it nice and worked and then you know I like to take the leftover throw it up on the temple a little bit um and just kind of get that worked in oh my oh my god that's like I can't express to you on the cheek how gorgeous that is D does that show up like how refined my skin looks on here probably not oh my gosh that is 
like shockingly beautiful. And then now venturing over into the other side, which again is Lola, this beautiful, more like light poppy coral moment. Uh, we're gonna be taking that on a Refer 04 brush, which is more of like um, a standard, I would say, you know, quote unquote standard um, blush, kind of triangle blush brush. And we're gonna be going in here and hitting it more so on like the apples because it just has like that bright little pop to it and then kind of pulling it back. Oh my God, that color. Do you see? It's like so nice, it's light, but it also has like a very beautiful, buildable vibrancy to it. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead because <laughs> looking at me head on, they do look a little bit off kilter. Like they just, <laughs> I, I look very like lopsided. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, mix the two together. Um, on this side, we're obviously adding Lola just to give us a little bit more of like that cute little cheeky, cheeky pinch moment. Oh, oh my God, look at the two of those mixed together. Oh. You guys, I'm such a blush bitch. I just can't even help myself. Also, I don't know how long it's been. Actually, it was <laughs> it was like last week. I was talking about these refer brushes in a video. What video? Oh, testing out new makeup, actually. I was testing out the new, um, the Urban Decay. It's literally sitting right in, right in front of me. But uh, the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette and the new Kendall and Kylie collab and Jen Loves Reviews, Ofra collab, like just, just a bunch of stuff. I can link the video here. But I was just talking about in that video how I was using the refer number two. It was like an under eye shadow brush and it looked so good it was like applying everything amazingly and I, I was just I was like obsessed in that moment with how it looked I was just thinking when uh, when I was editing that video like I don't give their face brushes or any of their brushes for that matter I don't give them enough love so if I haven't talked about these in a hot minute y'all need to check them out I'll link them down below and then really quickly I just went in and touched up my under eyes with a little brightening powder it's the uh, the KKW brightening powder in shade one okay so normally at this point I would skip over I would do eyes and then I do highlight highlight last. But when I tell you that I, I just, I physically, okay, I physically cannot go past this highlight any longer. Like, look at this. You tell me, okay, you tell me and be honest, because I'm going to know if you're lying. You tell me that you could just walk by this and just be like, oh, I'll come back and do it later. Oh, oh you're a lying lady if you're going to say that because nobody could walk by this. Look at how cute this is. Look at it. Oh, just look at it. Ugh. Guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, so this is this is their skin glazing, and it's in the shade Ozone, which I think I've said 75 times, and oh my god, it's life-changingly beautiful. So this is what we're going to be going in with, and I think really quickly, you know, per usual, I like to set my face down just to settle everything, so I'm going to take a little Morphe Continuous Spray, and then while that's drying down, let's go ahead and give a little swatch to the shade Ozone. Oh my god, oh my god. It's like a spiritual moment. Do you see how beautiful that is? It's so blinding and it feels so fine. Like it just has the most like thin, thin feeling to it. Oh my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's just not waste any time. Okay. Let's do this. Now in terms of application, we're going to use a Scott Barnes 66. We're just going to dive in here and I think we're going to hit this side first. Yeah. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. And we're going to just start off ever so gently. Oh my God. That's so good. You guys. Like how beautiful is that? It's so, like, I, okay, the tone of this is perfection. Like, I, I know that I talk a lot about, you know, shine and highlight and wow, it's intense, da, da, da. And yes, it's all of those things. But this one, I think what's striking me the most, even on camera, which is really shocking, this has the most perfect tone for my skin tone. Like, it looks like my skin, like my actual tone of my skin, but so bright and so healthy and so glowy. All right, so hold on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again so that way we can hopefully both see this on uh, camera. Um, let's do this side and just like, oh my God. <gasps> oh, it looks so good, <laughs> you guys. That is so satisfying. Just gonna throw a little bit on the nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and just a little bit here on my greasy little chalupa chin. That's right, <laughs> hashtag chalupa chin. Y'all know what's up, hashtag Hashtag chalupa chin. Hashtag chalupa chin. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's, oh shit. Okay, well, maybe we chalupa a little bit too much. Okay, we should have drained the grease off of that burger. Okay, I'm thinking that's about perfect. Like we have just the right amount of grease on the chalupa. It's just like dripping down our chin ever so graciously. And like, do you, do you just see like my cutting ass cheekbone? Oh my God. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down now, but like, <clears throat> I'll be, I'll be dreaming of you. I'll be thinking of you. We'll be having, we'll be whispering sweet nothings into your ear all night long. Okay, let's let's move on. Just got creepy. Oh my, oh my God, you guys, this is beautiful. Look, look at the packaging, the presentation. Is this not just everything? And it's so gorgeous. Look at those colors. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I'm I'm actually stunned at how pretty this is. Like it's so simple, just like all of their packaging. It's so simple, but it's so elegant at the same time and like I just oh my god, I can't get past it. Okay, but anyways, down in the description here on Ulta, it says that this quad it retails for $25 and it is a quad full of endless magnetic and chameleonic of reflex re reflex re <laughs> can I can I read here? It's like chameleon, okay, but chameleonic reflex. Okay, period. <laughs> I love that. I love that I just read the punctuation. Wow. Uh, it says light breaks up to let you shine day and night like a city that never sleeps. Miami lights means no compromises. Oh, hell no, honey. We don't compromise. With only one swipe, glitters remain. Wait, what? Glitters remain adherent as long as you want them on your skin. <laughs> the skepticism grows. Okay, and then in terms of the shades, oh my god, these are so beautiful. Can you guys see these? Up first, we have the shade Aries right here, which it says is a transparent base with holographic orange, lime, lilac, and magenta reflex. And then we have Muses, which is a fluo pink with green and topaz and electric lilac reflex, which is why you can see like that beautiful shift. That one is freaking amazing. Uh, then we have Firmament, which is a bright lilac with holographic gold, magenta, indigo and amber reflex. Ooh, also really pretty. And then last but not least, we have this sexy, sultry little bitch, which is the shade Scorpio. And it says that one is bright pinky rust with a smoky base. For the shades, all good and swiped out just so you can see them a little bit less dense. I feel like this is a little more accurate to how they would look um, uh, 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 when you apply them to the eyes. I'm like actually stuttering because these are so beautiful. But I think out of all of them, like I love the fact that this pink one right here is so duochrome. Like it's, it's, it's glitter and it has that element. But the fact that it goes like pink to green duochrome is just amazing. I feel like this is a really well curated collection. Like it has a little bit of everything. It has a little fun, a little pop, um, just because it's glitter. So inherently it does have those. But this also has like a sophistication to it that I think is really beautiful. Um, in terms terms of you can use it, you know, build it up, you can make it more crazy, or you can wear it down and make it a little bit more, you know, just a little bit more demure. Give it, give it like a little pop instead of an all the way pop. And I don't know, I just, I really like that. I think it's super pretty. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and apply some, shall we? Now, I think for me, because obviously when I do eye looks, I like to be as true to self as possible in terms of how I do my makeup. And for me, this would be a really good palette to accompany like face products I'm already using because I feel like you could use these and a bronzer in the cream and still get like a super beautiful look, but without having to, you know, travel with a ton of extra palettes and, and take all this other stuff with you. So I think what I want to do for today is I kind of want to play around with just the shades I already have out right here, my bronzer, my blushes, that sort of thing, and then maybe pop these on the eyes. And, you know, that way we're just utilizing the stuff from the collection and, you know, getting a little bit more use out of what we have, which I think is, you know, in, in my opinion, that's always kind of the goal. Now, before I obviously go in with glitters, like I said, we're going to go in with some powder and I think I'm going to grab my refer 15. It has like a beautiful light taper to it, but it still has a good amount of movement. Super, super soft. Um, refer, which I, I know I just talked about this. I swear this wasn't planned, nor is it sponsored, but I literally just got these in the mail yesterday. They sent me over four of their eye brushes that had been out of stock and I just, I love them so much. And this profile is like <laughs> literally perfect for what I'm doing today. So like I said, refer number 15 and I'm going to start off with a little bit of the blush actually. This is in the shade Independence and I'm actually just going to start by running this into the crease just ever so gently and I am going to concentrate it more so like right through the crease and then kind of diffusing it in an upward motion and really what I'm focused on right now is just getting like a nice kind of neutral easy to blend with base and I feel like this had like the perfect depth to it. And isn't that just like, even as a shadow, like an eyeshadow, that's so beautiful. And to go in and deepen up the inner and outer V, I'm taking a refer 12 and more so focus on building, but also blending it in with that pink shade because obviously I don't want there to be like any harsh lines or any like weird color patches. And this is more so just about like a nice little subtle depth of color. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, and these brushes feel so good. 
wow. All right, guys, so I'm thinking this is where we're gonna stop the blend portion before we go in with eyeshadow or the eye glitters, but I just wanted to give like a huge shout out. These are the makeup wipes from One Size, which again, if, I mean, if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, you might not have known this, but I picked these up and the, um, the makeup dissolving spray, and I actually have a full demo on my Instagram of me using them so you can see how they both work, all the good things, but these makeup wipes, like just to show you, look at how big <laughs> this damn makeup wipe is like, this is huge. I have a big ass face, okay guys? Like a big ass face. And this wipe is gigantic and I just I wanted to give it a shout out because damn, it's a big, it's just a big ass wipe and I appreciate it, okay? I appreciate a big ass wipe. How many times can I say big ass wipe? <laughs> a lot, a lot of times. Big ass wipe, it's a big ass wipe. Also, let's go ahead and just maybe decrustify these busty ass <laughs> bitch ass <laughs> lips. Oh my God, yes. Oh. Ugh. I can't stand like ugh, as it starts to crust and it's getting all nasty. No, thank you. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Now with these glitters, even though it does say that you can swipe them on, they're not going to go anywhere, all the good things. Um, it, it isn't that I don't agree because even when I swatch them, like they did adhere to my fingers really well. And, I, and I'm not doubting that, but here's the deal, guys. I, I'm, <laughs> I know my eyelids better than anybody else in the world. And let me tell you, these are some inhospitable oily ass eyelids. And I just do not, frankly, I don't don't trust anything, whether it's these glitters, any glitter, any shimmer even. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, I go in with the glitter glue. Uh, this is the one from Too Faced. The Too Faced glitter glue is what it's called. Very, very good name. There's also one from NYX that I use. It's like $5, way, way more affordable, super amazing. Um, like truthfully, I always recommend to people, start with the one from NYX and see if you can make that one work because it's fantastic. Um, but this is the one that I have open right now. So this is the one I'm gonna use. And I think for today's look. I'm just going to take a little bit here on my finger and I'm going to apply that all over like the center portion of the lid. So like all the way from like between the bronzer on the inner and the outer V and then also up a little bit. And I think for today's look, I'm actually gonna layer it backwards to how I normally would because I, d I want it to be like a little bit more light. And at first I was gonna go in with the darker shade and then put the pink on top, but I feel like that's gonna make it a lot darker. So instead I'm gonna do it in the reverse and I'm gonna take this pink duochrome here and I'm gonna apply it with my finger. Oh my God, uh, so good. Um, but I'm gonna take this and just apply it and kind of pack and press it on top of that glitter glue here. Oh, oh, do you see? Do you see how pretty that is? Yes, honey. And then ever so gently, we're just gonna lightly pack on a little bit of the, um, the darker brown shade in here. I think it's Scorpio. And it just gives you the same like little bit of depth that you'd get in a normal eye look, but this way it's just all the glitter. So it's, it's more consistent, it's shiny and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my God. And it does have like that smoky base to it too. <gasps> oh my God, that's so good. You know what, just because, I mean, why the hell not? We're gonna take the purple one here and I'm gonna throw that on the back part of the eye, just a little strip of it, like kind of in between, you can see it right there, in between the pink and the brown, just as like a little bit of fun. I mean, because at first this was going to be practical, but now it's just like, let's be a glittery lady because I can't, I can't see anything else I'd rather be doing today. Oh my God. Other than being covered in glitter. And last but not least, I'm going to take this really beautiful white shade on my pinky here and I'm going to pop that one over top of the inner V right in this area. Oh yeah, that's beautiful too. Wow, and that one's like the most glittery, chunky goodness of all. And I think what's getting me the most with these is that they are just incredibly easy to work with. And I mean, you probably can't see it as well. Obviously, they'll be an up close in a minute. You guys can see how everything comes together. But like the ease of these is really what's getting to me because they just look so beautiful and they effortlessly layer. And I mean, in terms of using like a glitter, I just I keep thinking back, like glitters have come such a long way. And this is just like living proof of it. Like it's so pretty. So I do have a little bit of glitter fallout down here. It's honestly not that bad. Um, truthfully, I've had worse fallout from shimmer shades than I just did from any of those glitter shades. So here's the thing, guys. I Originally, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this or not, but for today's look, how I think I'm gonna run this, because I still wanna test out the new Cupid's Arrow Crayon, uh, cause these are just, <laughs> they're fantastic. Um, I think what I'm gonna do with this is actually do upper and lower waterline, like I'm gonna get those black and smoky. I was originally going to take this up onto the upper lid, but instead, I'm gonna take it on the lower lash 
lash line and blend it out with some bronzer and then maybe put just like a little tiny bit of the glitter underneath of that as well just to give it a little smoke and then I think we'll probably call that good for the eyes. Alright you guys so I'm back. The eyes are finished obviously and it's time to move on to glosses. Now I did pick up every single gloss in this collection. There were six that launched and they really got me with these like between the packaging and the pictures on the Ulta website. Oh my god, you guys, these look so beautiful. Really quickly, before we get started, can you guys see how beautiful this, um this cap is. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but it actually has like this really beautiful like fleck detail in a resin cap right here. And it's just like, oh my god, these are just so aesthetically pleasing. Um, this shade right here, this is in Champagne Supernova. Also, by the way, these are $15 a piece. I don't think I said that yet, but they retail for $15 a piece. And this one right here, Champagne Supernova. This is more of like an orange glitter suspended in what I would say is a clear gloss. Next to that, we're going in with the shade Renaissance, which is this guy right here. It is more of a clear base with like a white reflex to it so you can tell it just has more of like a, a really intense shiny look but this shade there is no color to it's just like a, a plain kind of pearlescent gloss so here we're gonna start getting into some color oh my god this is beautiful this is the shade RSVP and it, like this color this is one of the ones that won me over by a landslide look at how gorgeous that is it has like a really beautiful like coppery coppery nudie with like a purple under undertone that kind of copper color um, base to it with like a little bit of gold reflect in it. Next to that we have the shade Toxic Love which is that not the most relatable name on the planet? Yes please. Um, but this one is more of like a light pink base I would say with uh, multicolored flecks throughout. It has a little bit of purple, a little pink, a little gold um, but the main thing with this one is that it just has a lighter pink base to it. All right so this one right here is Stardust right yeah Stardust Radio and this one on the website like this one and the other dark one that I swatched. These were my two favorites uh, just because I love the base of this one. I love that it's more of like a coral pink light base with light little gold flecks throughout it. So for me this one is more of like an everyday wearable gloss. All right so last up we have the shade District and this one is unique against all the others because this is the only shade in the entire collection that does not have any glitter to it at all. It just has a plain what I would say is like a medium opacity um, caramely nude kind of base to it and there's nothing else going on. There's no fuss, no nothing. And I have to say, rounding out the entire collection with that gloss to me, it just seems really smart. Just looking at it, you know, from like a makeup, you know, lover perspective or a consumer perspective, whatever, um, I really liked the curation of this lip collection because I feel like there really is something for everyone here. Whether you want something a little darker, you want it poppy, you don't like glitter, if you want that coral, like there, there's just a lot of movement and a lot of use that you can get out of this. And, and I know that obviously not everyone is going to buy the entire collection because that is a bit much, but what I really appreciated with this is just the the thoughtfulness of, you know, making sure there is something for everyone. There's that depth or the light or there's no glitter and it's it's just all about finding the balance for everyone and I think that this collection really did that. And then also just looking at this from an aesthetic perspective, like how beautiful are these glosses? The packaging, the component, everything about these is just gorgeous. For today's look, I think I'm going to grab the shade RSVP, which is that darker one, and I'm just going to apply this all over the lips. And I was gonna do, yeah, that's perfect. And I was gonna go lip liner with this one, but I honestly don't think I'm gonna need to. Like it has enough color. Oh, oh damn, these smell, <laughs> they smell good too. They smell like I'm going to the beach. Like they got like a, like a light little pina colada vibe. Okay, I'm not upset about that. Okay, okay. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete. Let's go ahead and throw up the up close so we can all look at the same thing, see how things are looking. Um, I think for me, in terms of these products that I tested today, I am so incredibly, incredibly impressed. Like, first and foremost, with the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, that whole trio for me is absolutely stunning. And I like, I just love the way, I, I still, even looking at it now, I love the way that they fit the face, the way that they just melt into the skin. It is absolutely beautiful. Now one thing I do want to add on really quickly and I don't know if it's something you could see in the up close or not but the glitter for some reason on my eyelids it's not sticking very well. Like I, I put it on and everything that I said during application is still true. Like I loved it. I love the colors. All of that's fine but for some reason just in sitting here and I've only been I mean since I did my eyes it's been maybe like an hour or something like that and right through here on both of them like right in this middle like inner to middle 
middle portion. I feel like all of the glitter is just gone. Like it's, it's just <laughs> went off the eye. What's weird is that I still have some of the very, very fine like micro glitter and I have some of the big chunky glitter, but like all of that medium, like the, the real bulk that makes the glitter glitter, it's gone. And don't get me wrong, this could be like a, maybe you shouldn't use glitter glue. This could be a my eyelid thing. You know, there, there's lots of things at play here that it, it might not be the product, but it is something that nonetheless I wanted to let you guys know. Um, just in case you are like me, maybe you have more inhospitable eyelids, maybe you have super hooded lids, and you also have this issue, just something to be mindful if you choose to pick it up. Again, I, I think the product is pretty, but I'm just, I'll have to play around with that aspect of the formula a little bit more. Now in terms of the gloss, because this is something I don't think I've touched on yet since I applied it, but uh, the, the consistency on this is really nice. It's super comfortable. Um, this is one that has glitter in it, and like truthfully, I can I can barely feel it, which is a very good sign for me. I don't like like a, a thick, chunky, gritty kind of glitter gloss. I don't get into those at all. And this one is very comfortable. I love the color. You guys, I'm pretty sure at this point I have touched on everything. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Is there anything from this collection you were curious about? You want to pick it up, check it out. Maybe it's not your thing. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, of course, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. Wink, 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 okay? Okay. <laughs> down below. Don't forget to go check me out there. Um, subscribe before you leave. If you like it, you, you like me, you like my style, and you want to stick around, I would greatly appreciate it. And other than that, you guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So for today's video, we are going to be testing out the new Nabla Cosmetics launch. They recently came out with it. Well, hello, beautiful. I've got a nose. I've got a nose. Well, no shit. Glitter glue, it's my glitter glue, it's my glitter glue. <gasps> Do not, oh my God, did I break it? Oh, sweet baby Jesus, it didn't. <gasps> Thank you, Jesus, up above. Guys, I thought I just broke Independence, which is not only so beautiful, like they're both beautiful, but it's also the one that sold out and I would have actually cried. Uh, plus, I just bought it. I don't want to break it. Oh my God. Ramen.